I've decided that I'm gonna let you guys in on a really private part of my life. I, I love gaming, I spend way too much time in Fallout 4, and I discovered Vault 88. <sighs> I've lost so many hours of my life, but I have completed Vault 88. Well, sorta. I didn't make it into a vault. I need to start recording this, but I'm hungry. You know, there's not much to look at when you're in Vault 88, just looking out the window. That's another reason that I went with a lot of glass. Because you really don't have, I mean, you're underground. You really don't have much to look at, so you might as well just look at each other. Oh yeah, food. I said I was hungry and then I didn't get anything. Okay, so I might have kind of disappeared for five hours to eat my dinner. Let's start from the beginning. I didn't really do anything in the front of it except for these little guys. Dudes, I guess I don't really need her here. I should send her back. But most enemies will come through here, and then they're met with everyone over here. So there it is. I wonder, is there a way to slow this down? I don't know how to use a computer. I've never shown my gameplay to anyone, so I don't really know what I'm doing. It says reactor, because that's where the reactor is. So we're going to slowly walk over here, where I have supplies that I like to keep around. I'm so bored. Just in case. <laughs> I don't feel like I have a problem. Because there's a reason these are all here. Okay. Most of them have this little star, which means they're special in some way. Which means they give them some other special little ability. Um, some of them are just big and cool, so they're also over here. Like a targeting quad barrel missile launcher. You gotta have at least one. This is my Nuka Nuke launcher. It requires special little mini, mini nukes, Nuka nukes. I have to create those. Um, and these are all special, like this special rolling pin. This is a pretty good weapon, a gauze rifle. And then there's pretty much everything else that was special, not necessarily good. Just special. But this is neat. Unless you're building settlements and I guess you don't really want to toss around your junk. So I just leave it here because I'm still building. Yeah, and you already saw the Vim power armor. Or did I delete that video? I might have deleted it. I should bring it over here. I'll do that. added one more suit of power armor, the green one, thin, there it is. I haven't upgraded this one yet, I just brought it in. So this here thing, you push the button, you can just leave it on, and then it just constantly sprays. It gets rid of the radiation. Yeah, you can leave that on. So over here I can make robots, upgrade existing robots. And this is my work area. I upgrade my weapons. That is the reactor over there. I like to have a nice view of it as I'm working. Stuff. 
but I like to have it have that like natural feel. You know what I mean? With all the plants and trees. I wanted to discuss my mutt fruit. And then a bunch of the people. Here I wonder started. how high the vault Shh. numbers go. Stop. Listen, lady, I already said I wanted to discuss my mutt fruit. Please be quiet. Get out of my private mutt fruit area. All right, so this is my, my mutt fruit collection next to the beautiful reactor. This thing's great because the vault only came with 150 power. Well, this gave me an extra 500. All right, the trailer, that's original. It's actually considered junk. See, it turns yellow. If it's not junk, it turns green. So you can store it or move it, but if it's yellow, all you can do is scrap it or just leave it alone. So I just left it. Um, so, yeah, this was... This is the original floor, I believe. I left some parts. I kind of built over it. There's a soda fountain machine. This is where the overseer sat. There's still some stuff scrolling. So here on this wall, I have some more weapons. And of course, these are all special. Special weapons. Um, yeah. Yes, there's only one bathroom I think one maybe two possibly two in this entire place so here it is there's not much privacy there we go yeah so this is the bathroom but at least there's four toilets so even though there's only one there's at least four toilets, and there's nothing to be ashamed of because everybody poops. Everybody also bathes. And these don't look very clean at all. And it's, it's a really creepy bathroom. Because <laughs> the, the walls have eyes. See, they're glass. Like anyone... Well, there's not really people walking out there. But they could. And, oh, <laughs> I guess the people from above, from the lab, the lab is up above, can also see you. Not much privacy. <laughs> it's a terrible bathroom. Let's get out of here. Just grab a metal bucket, use that instead, and find the lake. This was the overseer's place, and I just kind of decorated it. But I do oftentimes sleep here because it's next to all my stuff. So yeah, it's a real homey place. Let's let's go upstairs, see what's going on up above. This is the lab. I'm not really sure what goes on here. We'll discuss the factory next to the lab later. I don't have much on the shelves. Currently, I was gonna throw more on there, but then the game was already kind of lagging. This has running water. Yeah, the toilets don't, but the sinks somehow do. So, yeah. This is a factory. I don't really know much about how to make these, so I just made some really basic ones. Kind of crammed them in here. And I haven't used them since. Alright, so there is a little house up above there. The water tower is also junk, but I just kind of built around it. I thought it'd be cool to, to leave it there as like a little original piece. A little, a really big ass original piece from before was this. This took many hours to build and there's more to it than 
than this. There's like another area. It's so big. So this is my game area. This is the Nuka Zapper race. And there is a special water gun for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Thirst Zapper and I'm gonna play this game. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna insert this coin. And that's it. Just gotta beat everyone else. So it's basically just you beating yourself. I don't know if it stops at a certain point or not, but I just do this out of boredom. There we go. I met my high score. So I did pretty good. 243 tickets. Yeah, that's all right. Yes. I went out there and I got them all. And another game. Which I really want to play again. Uh-oh. I left the little whacker on there. But this works better. It's quicker. Okay, I did alright. 189 tickets. You can also use a slot machine over here in the game area for all ages. My luck just got boosted. That's it. That's all it is. It's just this. I don't actually get any coins or anything but my luck gets boosted this is a token dispenser because the games only take tokens another soda machine this is a little chill chill spot it's a little chill spot with some signage and magazines you can enjoy some reading while you're here and beverages you gotta have beverages to the game area. So, so that's that. Fun little area. I'm not I'm not good at this game. Not in real life, not in this one. There's a Christmas tree. And I also really suck at this game. Oh look, I left some tickets. Someone did. Oh good. Two are left. I don't know how to do this. Beautiful and stuck to go get it and just put it in the right spot, you know? Sealing yourself up in a steel hole to escape the bombs. Well, there Sounds we go. Sounds like trading one kind of hell for another one. <laughs> I'm really good at this game. Now that I know how to play it. I'm really good at it. <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> this is how good I am at video games. <laughs> what did I get? No, I'm gonna play for real this time. That is my highest score ever. I cheated. I'm playing on PC. If you didn't figure it out by now. So I'm gonna pick it up with E. Charge it up with R and then chuck it out. My god! <laughs> so that's the whole game area. It's pretty cool. And. Anybody need help with anything? This is a club. It's an alternative. Alternative club. Yeah. Decor is a little different <laughs> to get these people to show up. I put in exercise equipment <laughs> that always gets people to show up, and then it kind of looks like they're 
actually using the rooms, but no one's using this as a club. Yeah, those chairs are really nasty. He likes it. It has no music. Just lights. And weird furniture. How'd anyone stay sane living in a place like this? <laughs> the club! You can also go shopping over here at the clothing store. <coughs> where we have a special Nuka Cola World corner. Um, I wonder how high the vault numbers go. To pick from. Yeah. There's no wrecks. Everything is just a mannequins. This is the weapons store, right next to the clothing store. They have a locksmith apparently on site. Those are lobster cages, I believe, and they're currently on sale because there's quite a few of them left in stock. And here's some of the stuff you can kill with the weapons. So let's let's go inside and, and check out the store. It's nowhere near like my personal collection that's open to the public. Down that tunnel is where the water is coming from. I had to run so many cables out there. And the shop sells a lot of pink guns. She really likes pink. It's her fault. Next to the weapon shop is the gym. Although some people do have exercise equipment in their private residences. Although it's not very private. It's not a private place at all. Yes. How are you? Everyone's just kind of up in each other's stuff and it's haunted. The place is also haunted. Happy to be so. safe in a vault, Overseer. Huh? But People are still happy to be here, even though there's some strange activity happening once in a while. So this is a garbage can. Oh, I don't think stairs. I ever want to go up top again, Overseer. She loves it here. That lady loves it. But yeah, this is the stairs up to the game area. Now let's go back down. Okay, so let's venture on over to the other side of the vault. This is the clinic. Even, even after the world ends. Yes. Still a waiting room. What is this? Oh yeah, this guy can change my face. Huh? I guess this is the plastic surgeon, or the surgeon. Then it is hard to determine groups. whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreak. Are people just sleep here? But the preparation plan is never a bad idea. They kind of use them like um, And this thing can mess up your eyes. So that just <coughs> pissed me out over on this huh? side, but I'm not ready to go on this side yet. So I came out this way before I ventured on out there. So over here we have a little restaurant with only pink chairs. There's some dead fish over here. And this place does serve food and alcohol. It's a great place. Anybody need help with anything? Because some stuff actually stayed on the shelves. Yes. Again. There's a kitchen. So that's mm. that. Pardon me. Heard about the experiments they did in places like this. Human decency must have been in short supply back then. So you can't actually get anyone to work this little thing. So I just put a for rent sign on it. And this is a general store. This place is kind of neat. They sell all kinds of things. Yeah sign on that but you know it's the end of the world so I'm not gonna judge There's some more garbage this thing's kind of neat I can store my stuff in it and I can I make wonder the what you have sodas. Seen, yeah. my favorite soda to make can I even make it 
I can't make a nuke of power. It gives me 60 plus carry weight. I can't make it. There's also magazines. A lot of magazines here to look at. This game you're going to huh? see everywhere. Because I think this one pays out the best. For me anyways. So that's this area. This whole first floor part of the second floor and then the, the club <laughs> over here this is where all the food is grown well not all because as you saw there's some mutt fruit next to the reactor by my trailer but most of the food is up here so you walk up here <coughs> and there's all the food it doesn't look like much, but it feeds all of us. I don't know how, because no one ever harvests it. Happy to be safe in a vault, Overseer. I hope I can squeeze through. Yes, I can. So, up here, this is like, kind of like the lookout area. You can see everything from up here. Well, not everything. It's such a big place. But that's why I created this little apartment house. Whatever you want to call it. So you could kind of see the whole city. You know, you give them a whole city that's pretty easy to walk around in and they still end up on the roof. That was just too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the bedroom. This place sleeps one person. I'm glad I'm in here and not out there. But this has a rooftop. This one's pretty cool and unique because it has a rooftop. And there's the game again. Red Menace. There's people up here pretty often because of the exercise equipment. They like to chill out up here. And they also sit in this chair. They kind of crowd, or crowd around it once in a while. Please, yeah. let me see and Shh. scan as many Curie. indigenous life forms as possible. All right. So now, over here, you may have noticed all that. But if you take a left <laughs> into the general store, the general shop. I wonder what has happened elsewhere. Is it's what very has old school. The Commonwealth Curie. atypical? So it's kind of like old school, where there's an apartment above the shop. There's a little kitchen area and like a little living room area, a balcony. But it's a shared balcony, and it connects to everything. And a couple beds. A little table and chairs. And if you keep walking, this is another apartment. It's got its own little kitchen, sink with running water, a bed in the kitchen. Yeah. But it's got a cool view to the restaurant down below. And over there, that's the armor store. I'll show that to you in a sec. Across the, to the other side is another itty bitty little teeny tiny apartment and it also does have a kitchen and it's functionally like you can craft. It's prime real estate but they're tiny. <clears throat> so we've seen three apartments on the second floor. Oh, and my when I walked out of this eager room to absorb new data. I find this traveling agrees with me. If I make a right, there's another little chill spot for this apartment over here. This soda's better than Nuka Cola. Try it, you'll see. It's a more modern kitchen over here with a very I have big seen island than my made out of points. two tables. And there's also a soda crafting machine over here and a functional 
kitchen. Could go into the kitchen. It overlooks the clothing store and the game room. I thought that was kind of neat. A lot of windows. So damned hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink. The glass is neat because then you can we actually must see your settlers. Kind of walking Institute around of even though they don't really do Surely anything. They are Curie, oh my god. Oh my god, stop. You're going to out-talk me and that's hard to do. So there's a living room. It's an open floor plan in this apartment. Yeah, this is a one. I wouldn't call it a one one. It's just a one. All the soda you can drink. This place is designed for four people. It's a little crammed. Yeah, all four are in this bedroom. But at least you get a nice view of a vicious looking bear and strobe lights. A lot of views out of this place. Sign clearly shows don't feed. Anybody need help with anything? The animal. There's no one in there. But you surely can send someone there if you like. You have to assign a person. They're like, okay. It's like an assigned thing. People kind of take their turns. I have seen being more the than my stock. <laughs> Listen, it was in the inventory. I'm like, oh, okay. That's gonna make a pretty cool jail. And I think it might produce happiness. It was under like, does it? I don't remember. So yeah, over here I built the spaceship. It was another option in the inventory that I really liked. And I'm like, oh, where am I gonna put this? So I put it here, and then I put this mannequin with a spacesuit, and this is a giant lollipop. Oh, and then there's a fire going behind it. It's an infinity fire. You just set it there and forget about it. It just works forever. And it creates this kind of neat effect. There's also a light up above to, to illuminate the rocket. And this is also a shooting range. This does absolutely work. I'm just gonna leave it open when not in use. So over here, there's a giant ice cream cone with ice cream on it. And this is that scary looking bear. Not much really going on over in this spot, but I figured I'd give the people at the Fancy Pants restaurant that no one ever goes to. Like, I don't see anyone sitting here ever. Maybe I should put in some exercise equipment and it'll show up. But like, no one ever sits down at these chairs. It's kind of upsetting. So that's the shooting range, the office. And that's the sh silver shroud outfit. I figured this was a good place to keep that. A vault. So, you that's do that know area. I wanted to study the world. And yes. And over here. Glad I'm in here and not out there. To the clinic. Heard about the experiments they did in places and like this. And this is the fancy human decency fancy must have been in short supply back part then. Part of town. Next to the shooting range and the jail. The influx of data is hard to process. Apologies if sometimes I make little sense. I will work on this. And over here is the barber or salon. Yes? Yes. I do both men's and women's haircuts over here. So that's this part of town. But as you can see, there's some stairs. So let's take the stairs. You can see right into this person's bedroom. Perfect. And if you make Humanity a right, has fallen so I gotta find her. I gotta find her. I gotta find her and I gotta send her somewhere. 
Do you need something, madam? Yeah, yeah. I need you to be quiet, and I think the only way you're gonna do this is if I give you a job. And the only job I have left. <laughs> Sitting here. There's no way to get there. There's no way to get there? You're gonna get there. You're gonna get there. Alright, so going back up the stairs. To the left, you can be a peeping Tom. Over here on the right is the armor shop. You can also craft. Upgrade your armor over here. Shop over here. Huh? And look at stuff over here. I have not finished this area yet. And it's got these cool glass ceilings. And if you look over here, you can see the restaurant down below. And the apartment, the one. Not the one one, the one. Open floor plan, plus bedroom. Never thought I'd be an honest to goodness vault dweller. So now, <sighs> if you go up further. I love cats, look at this. There was more cats, but I had to take them down to build other things that I thought were a little more important. Again, an open floor plan. A modern kitchen and a lot of cats here's the cat kitchen and off to the right is a master bedroom with glass floors I think this is the only bedroom in the whole settlement that has floors like this there really isn't much else in this room this room was actually the very last bedroom to be built in the whole place. Yeah. Cats, cats, and more cats over here. There's a little desk area. Oh, and they gave me a free technical document. So cool. More cats. And this over here has three beds, four beds, four beds. I really should toss a picture up there. I feel like it needs another cat picture over here, but I guess I can add that later. So this has some pretty nice views of the city. So I'm gonna go back on the second floor next to the game area. And now go up these stairs. Over here. I make a right, a left, wow. Make a left. This is the cool table area. There's this game again. Oh, there's actually someone here. She probably works here. Table. Yeah. Nice view of the city. I love little Christmas trees everywhere. I just love it. Yeah, so it's a little bar. There was balls. Oh, there's one left. Just kind of chilling there. I had every single ball. Sit out of there. If I go in here, there's a little general shop. It's mostly just guns on the wall, some magazines. And then the shop owner has like a little attached bedroom. It's a little dinky place. Oh, something wow. from the war, war looks like. Cool. But hey, at least they got great views. So we came from here. Now we're heading over here. A look out. There's nothing out there. Down here is the game area, which I already showed you guys. Over here is a pretty decent sized apartment. You walk in, there's the living room, obviously, oh my gosh, obviously. Living room. Not much privacy, again, in this place. There's a little tiny room over here with great views. Look at those views. And a, another room here. It's a little crammed. Not that much going on over here. And a kitchen. Christmas tree. I really like the Christmas trees in here. 
I didn't do too much with this kitchen. It's kind of empty. Big kitchen, though. With some of the best views in town. So this is a two. Not a two one or a two two. Just a two. But as you can see, there's also more stairs over here. There's stairs everywhere. Go ahead, climb these stairs. Yeah, the walls are really creepy. Like, look at this. Isn't this inviting? <laughs> There's another little tiny room here. This one doesn't have a kitchen. They don't all have kitchens, but at least it's got a grill. With a wood ceiling above it. This is delicious. So that's nice. So I came from down below here. Over here is another little apartment. It's like a little studio. The bedroom's in the corner, the kitchen's in the middle, and then you have the living room over on this side. It's comfy, comfy cozy, but excellent views. And you can see right down to the bar area. There's no TV, so. <laughs> Just know that there's no privacy, and that's what all these signs mean. The walls have eyes. That's what they mean to me. There's absolutely no privacy on the fourth floor, but I figure, hey, you're on the fourth floor. There's not going to be too much traffic. There's just tons and tons of balcony out here. So you can look at the views. This is a small little two bedroom apartment. Got the red bedroom over here. Kitchen, little table. Nothing fancy for sofas, just some airplane seats. And this person does have a tub. But no toilet. Sink, tub, exercise equipment, no toilet. I think this is as close as it gets to a second bathroom. It's pretty much just that one bathroom down below on the first floor. So, so that's that. Oh, okay. This one also has a glass floor. And you can see all the way down to the first floor. That's the gym down below. I believe that was also originally a glass ceiling, and then I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. It's neat. I wouldn't want to live there, but whatever. This is security. This is a security desk. Sometimes there's a dude here watching over everything. I figured it was a good location for security purposes, and it is missing a window here in case you want to, like, jump on the desk. Can I jump on the desk? Yeah, jump on the desk, whip your gun out. <laughs> Stop a squirt gun and shoot it. The hell are you thinking? Firing that off here. <laughs> Apparently the squirt gun still still upsets Long Longfellow. Over here is another apartment with absolutely no privacy and not much reviews. This is probably the worst apartment to live at. Like the views are garbage. Again, <laughs> full disclosure, you can see everything into this person. There's not even a door. Like, at some point, I had to stop putting on doors because, like, the hallways are so narrow that they would get stuck. They wouldn't really move around, so I had to take out all the doors. Thingamabob. Now, this, I want to enter from another side. So I'm actually gonna go back. Bye. Just jump in. Why blue? I mean, would a yellow jumpsuit really myself. be that bad? So remember this area with the club? So all the games and then the scary club up there? Well, if you don't go to the club and you make a right turn and then a sharp left and then another right and keep going, there's a secret apartment. 
and it's the biggest one in the whole game. But there's like no wall right there. So it's just kind of open. But there's also no like rain or snow or anything else or wind because you're in a vault. So whatever. A lot of trust in this place. So this is the kitchen. This is the most modern kitchen out of all the kitchens that I've made. It's pretty, pretty proud of this kitchen. I really like it. Yeah. And it's got great views. <laughs> and over here is the living room. There's some artwork on the wall. And yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta spice up your outdoors since there is no outdoors because you're in a vault. So I just kind of brought in nature, something that looks, resembles nature, and put it right outside the living room windows. There's an office right in the living room. So now if I go up these stairs, this is where I was, where I'm like, oh wait, I gotta go in from the other side. I was standing over here. See, this all connects. So over there, there's like never thought I'd be an small, honest to goodness vault. Kind of crappy apartments, <laughs> and then over here, there's this huge. It's, this is a three bedroom, three bedrooms. So here's one of the rooms. There's just one person here. All this space, some exercise equipment. And you can also look over into these people's house when you're bored. The smallest room in this apartment is, huh? is this room. And this person really enjoys baseball. Look at that. The 2076 World Series baseball bat. Yeah. And this room has some pretty decent views as well. So that's those two bedrooms going back downstairs. There's the kitchen, the living room. But if I go over here, the final, the final room in this whole place, the most awesome bedroom with its own soda fountain, a giddy up pony cup, pony cup, a giddy up buttercup, a soda fountain, a giddy up buttercup. This over here, I can find all my companions on. disco ball because why not Kinda spruces up the place a little bit and there's the king side that's the California king that's the biggest bed I can create and it also has some comfy pillows on it my own exercise equipment this was originally my bedroom but then I decided to move into the trailer because this was such a far walk so yeah That's it. That's it. That's it. I think that's everything. Oh my goodness. That's Vault 88. <laughs> it's not really a vault. It's just kind of a settlement that's underground. So, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> if you stayed till the end, congratulations, man. Congrats. <sighs> this, this was a lot. This was a lot to build. I don't know how many hours I spent on this. Too Sealing many? yourself up in a steel hole Definitely to escape the bombs. too many hours. Sounds like trading one kind of hell for another one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more like it, tell me down below in the comments or I'm not going to I'm not going to stream or online game yet cuz that just terrifies me, gives me anxiety. So, but I can pre-record some stuff, edit it together, and I don't know, maybe do some gameplay. Or, uh, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe, ring that bell as well, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!